The head of the Church of England was put on the spot after Meghan made the claim in the course of her explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, which was screened by ITV last night. The 39-year-old set tongues wagging when she told the talk show veteran, You know, three days before our wedding, we got married. We called the Archbishop, and we just said, Look, this thing, this spectacle is for the world, but we want our union between us. The vows that we have framed in our room are just the two of us in our backyard with the Archbishop of Canterbury. Large numbers of Twitter users have since attempted to hijack several posts by the most revved Welby in the wake of the Duchess's claims. Replying to one tweet by the Archbishop on an unrelated topic yesterday, Karen Webb said, You need to come out and say you didn't marry H&M before chapel wedding. It's not legal to get married without two witnesses. You need to clarify this situation. Similarly, James Tomalin asked, Did you marry the Sussexes in secret three days before their wedding cost the British taxpayer £32 million? Responding to a separate, also unrelated tweet by the Archbishop today, another poster added, Is that legal? I thought the venue had to have a license. Bans should be read. Should be a police investigation into this. Another declared. You have violated God's trust by performing the marriage vows twice for Harry and Meghan. Despicable. Another poster responded to a third tweet in which the Archbishop talked of the need to cooperate on wide-ranging issues relating to conflict and reconciliation. They said, cooperate, like you cooperated three days before the UK slept on pavements. Lined the streets, had street parties presuming we were all part of a wedding. Yet. You got a call and married M three days before. You became part of the false charade. Dear oh dear. Sad. A spokesman for Lambeth Palace told Express.co.uk, The Archbishop does not comment on personal or pastoral matters so we aren't commenting. In accordance with ecclesiastical law, a marriage must be solemnized by a member of the clergy in a church, or in a place specified in a special license, for example, a cathedral, a chapel, a hospital, in the presence of two witnesses. It is currently unclear whether the ceremony described by Meghan had been solemnized accordingly.